What's going on Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here at FAA with Justin Sumter who is fighting um, Julian LeBlanc. Justin, how are you my friend? I'm doing wonderful man. I uh, just got done sparring uh, and I'm yeah. doing some hard training here in Springfield and I feel pretty good. As an amateur, you are actually a three, three time champion, three different promotions. Uh, how do you think that's going to help you when you step into the cage against the 3 0 undefeated former champ, also um, coming up March 11th? Uh, I think you know, it's going to play, play a big factor. Uh, the big stage, you know, I mean, uh, coming in the main event, um, I. Uh, I've been in those 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 circumstances where um, like all eyes are on me and, and you know I perform. Um, also coming from amateur, I had a, a extended period of time where I was undefeated. So you know like it's nothing to me. You know the win or lose. Um, you know I'm still gonna go in there and give it my all and and um, perform. So uh, I feel comfortable, feel ready, and I'm just ready to get it over with. Last two fights of your opponent, he's fought at 170. Do you think, but he has fought at 185. Do you feel as if you're going to be able to use that to your advantage, your size, your strength, since you've always been at that weight? Yeah, I think the one, my my body size, being able to 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 expel that energy in the cage, um, walking around at that is definitely going to play a factor. Um, he actually has to, you know, theoretically come up in weight. So um, him uh, just wearing that weight differently in the cage is definitely going to be a factor for him. You moved camps to um, Newell MMA, which is a yeah. right, which is an FAA affiliate. Yeah. Tell me how your how your game has changed since you've been with them. Um, I would say it's just been, uh, you know, I mean, I always had the, the, the raw skill. Um, everywhere that I went, you know, I mean, I excelled, and I just needed some some place that would actually, you know, hone the skill, hone the skill that I already had, hone, hone that technique. And um, FAA uh, with Nick Noel has definitely done that. Um, you know, what I mean, he put me through through the rounds, and, and and he really pushes me to that next level every single time I step in there. So um, I'm greatly appreciative of that. And and um, you know, the future is endless with with uh, FAA. So I'm really happy. Most fighters visualize the fight before it happens. Have you, and do you have a prediction? Um, my prediction is. It's going to be a quick fight. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't like to, to say, um, give like specifics, but I, I believe it's going to be a quick fight in my head. It's been a quick fight ever since I thought about it. And, um, you know, usually when I think of something, I, I like to achieve what I think. Who are some of your supporters that you can give a shout out to as well? Um, one big, Nick, man, Nick's <laughs> like the biggest man. Like it, just his, his thought process is his, his, you know, mind around the game because he's been at the top and he, and he knows what works and, and what, what, uh, people need to do inside the cage to be successful. And um, he's like one of the big guys, my training partners. I got uh, another guy that's fighting on the card. Um, his name is Joe Melaninsky. And um, man, he's a tough, tough 170 guy. Like, he's a big guy and he fights at 170 and he, and he gives me a run, even amateur he gives me a run for his money. So definitely he's gonna make some waves in the, the 170. Um, got my, my Costa, Costa, he just came here. Um, from New Jersey, awesome guy, and just a plethora of people. Like, you know, I, I don't know, like, everybody's name, just, but just everybody there is helpful. There's no egos. Um, we're just in there to work, basically. Follow us on Instagram, watch us on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, visit us on Twitter, and stay tuned.